Hello, my name is Paul Reynolds, and this is Tuesday Tours with Youth Apostles. As maybe you can guess, one of my favorite shows growing up was Tool Time, with Tim the Toolman Taylor and his wise and mysterious neighbor Wilson, who always seemed to have timely advice as he peered over the fence and chatted with Tim. I'm the lay assistant director for community. I'm a lifetime married full member. Uh, with my wife, Nicole, we just welcomed our fourth child into this world, Eli James, here a month ago. So it's been a little extra anxious for us as we were doing our final preparations for his birth. And uh, as the, the quarantine and shutdowns ramped up and they were predicting peak day right right around the time of his birth, um, it, it's been a little, a little crazy. Um, something that's brought, brought us some peace and solace is, is learning the symbology of the Carthusian cross. So recently, my sister-in-law's brother, Joe Gregory, passed away, and um, one of the, the symbols that, that he chose as he journeyed um, through this disease was the Carthusian cross, and the symbology is here on the, the shirt. This is actually a, a shirt that Joe made, and the cross stands steady as the world spins, and in these days, it's, it's been a little crazy. Um, there's been plenty of things canceled, shut down. We're not sure how things are going to open back up. Um, but through it all, Christ is there with us. Christ stands steady. Christ does not change. His promise always remains. Um, I began um, doing youth ministry with youth apostles soon after I, I graduated high school. Uh, I first experienced Youth Apostles uh, in my senior year of high school, and then I got to go on World Youth Day with them. And um, that transition time was important to have a steady hand, to have some steady mentors in my life. And that's a reason why I continue to do youth ministry to this day, is um, to seek to give back what I've received. And um, many youth need that steady hand in these days, and they need to be reminded of, of that stalwart in our life, um, Christ. And if we rely on him, if we bring to him our troubles, um, he will always be faithful and always love us. So thank you for the time to, to spend with me this morning. Um, if you hear the little pitter-patter of feet, those are my kids upstairs, and um, they're just excited for the, for the new day. God bless.